History is who we are. It's what happened before we came along and why. Must never leave out the why. History is a larger way of looking at life. The lessons of history are manifold, but among them are that there was no such thing as a simpler past. There was never any such thing as a foreseeable future. And no one was ever self-made. No such thing. We are all influenced, not just by people who have guided us, and taught us, and inspired us, parents, teachers, but we're influenced by people we never knew because they went long before us. But we're influenced by them all the time and their story. It's a source of strength, history. It reminds us of what we can do because others have done it before us, often under far more difficult circumstances. When I walk into a museum gallery, um, I always love to hear people say, gee, I didn't know that. This is really neat. And I think there's going to be a lot of that uh, in the new museum when it does open. The collection gives us an opportunity to tell the story of this island, and it's a remarkable collection. It's a, it's a spectacular collection. Any community in the country would die to have it. I think what's about to happen is, is going to be mind-boggling. Nobody knows what's in the collection because they haven't had an opportunity to properly exhibit it at all. There are treasures there that have not been found. We're not a focused museum. I mean, we're not a museum that has only one of these things, They're not only archaeological things, not only the whaling, uh, not only the farming or the Revolutionary War. We've got it all. This historical society, like all historical societies, is a measure of an enormous variety of events and people from other times down to and including the present day. What makes this particular historical society so exciting, in my view, is that it's, it has a depth almost beyond imagining and almost beyond that of any other historical society that I know. We as an organization have looked at our responsibility to this collection and we feel as if we're not living up to it, that we have this remarkable collection that, that reflects so much about the island. It's not properly housed, we don't have adequate space to present it, we don't have appropriate climate control, and we aren't able to begin to take advantage of the strengths and the diversity and scope of this material. So the point of, of trying to move to a new place, the point of getting into this campaign is that we need to live up to the opportunity that this collection provides. And we need to do that so that it becomes a vital and useful resource to today and to the future. There's so much more that we could be doing that we aren't doing now. With a new facility, with more space, with more resources in terms of people. Here it is. We don't have any information about the donor and the pattern. Mm. So it's, it's really fantastic and I've noticed about a lot of the Wampanoag uh, basket trees. Our mission at the Historical Society is to, to collect these things, care for them, and share them with everyone. And in this location, in these old buildings, we can't really do that. For any paper-based collection, you have to be greatly concerned about a rapid fluctuation in terms of temperature and humidity. Um, and in our current situation, we've dealt with that by 
providing dehumidifiers and air conditioners, but it's a stopgap measure. So let me give you a quick tour of some of our storage areas. This is where we keep the whole history and heritage of the island in this basement. We have some safes that are fireproof uh, where we have some very special things. And then into the main basement area, which is filled with all kinds of material. Um, we're really uh, challenged by the space that we have here, and we're trying to make it, use it as efficiently as we can so that, for example, in here we have all kinds of papers that are boxed as by our professionals very carefully, doing everything we can to try to get them housed properly. Clearly we have challenges. We have an oil tank here. We have hot water pipes running above the collection. We have a water tank as well as the oil tank. This farm has been in our family since 1762, and it's, it's been a subsistence farm and a sheep farm pretty much its whole time. There are uh, few places in the uh, whole of the U.S. where you have uh, relatively uh, large African-American vacation places. It was a uh, place where African-Americans could feel at home. I think that that is the most important thing for any individual to have, is to know that there is a place that you can go to, and when your feet are touching the earth, and when you're around it, or it's around you, you know, it's the only place that you belong. There's no place else in the world, and I've traveled all over the world. There's no place else that I have felt at peace and just at ease. And the only reason why I would feel those things here is because of my ancestors' connection. The subject matter here as an artist is just amazing. I mean, I have never been any place in my life where there's so much variety in such a small area. People on Martha's Vineyard are individuals, they're independent thinkers, and they want to keep things, they want this place to be different. That's what makes it wonderful. And you know, we, we work in concert with the historical society. We're not, we're not distant from them. We're, we're right there with them, and we, uh, we need to work together to, to keep this alive and to keep it going. Why should people care? How does the historical society compare with all the other uh, things that are happening here on the island. They should care because the, the preservation of history and passing it on to subsequent generations is incredibly important. If we don't know where we have been, we certainly can't fully understand who we are today and more importantly, what we will be in the future. Certainly part of our mission is to preserve and protect this material, but more importantly is to use it to help illuminate the, the history and heritage and culture and values of this island. And it's that opportunity that we need to, to live up to. It's that that we need to do more with and to become a more accessible resource to people so that they can really take advantage of the, of the treasures that, that make up this collection. If I were able to convey a message to people who care about Martha's Vineyard and who care about how we're teaching our children the history of our country. I would say join us in making this wonderful institution as important and as, as productive an organization as possible. Let's not be second rate or third rate in how we do it.
let's do it right and show your your belief and your affection for this island in a very tangible way that will, because it's part of our history, stand down the ages after we're gone. History isn't a, a pill that you need to take, and if you sugarcoat it and, and put a lot of flim-flam around, then it becomes palatable. What you're trying to do, always, it seems to me, whether you're writing history or teaching history or creating a historic museum, is to make what happened in times other than our own as interesting as it really was. Thank you.